hello and welcome to the show. I'm here on Forza Horizon 2 for another rally car build with the happiest Subaru BRZ in the world. So my Xbox may have slightly crashed when I tried to load up a rivals mode. So the car is, is actually built. This is what the... Uh, the Subaru looks like. I love that. It's the full sort of Mazda 3 bumper on the front of the, the BRZ. It's incredibly happy. Uh, this car, I'm not a massive fan of the, the, the BRZ and the GT86 and so on. I mean, they're, I accept they're perfectly good cars. They're just not my, my sort of vehicle. But people wanted to see me have a go with these and I was kind of curious to see how this, uh, how this car would fare when it comes to the, the rally course. The last couple of vehicles I've built that thought, thought might be quite quick turned out not to be. They just lacked the grip to actually go quickly. The Subaru, well, is well known for being a slidey car, but uh, I was hoping that perhaps with, you know, the four-wheel drive system, all the cars for the rally car builds have to have the four-wheel drive, which this vehicle does. They have to have the off-road tyres again that this car has. You can see from the, the ride height that we have got the uh, the rally suspension and we have the Storm Island gearbox. The gearbox will give us some decent short gear ratios for the track that we're running around and the suspension means that we should actually hopefully survive the bumps. Uh, I'm not I'm not sure uh, how well this vehicle would uh, would survive the bumps. It's It's got some ride height but it's still a fairly small lightweight car and it's still a sports car so it potentially could have some problems uh, on them. Other other sort of major upgrades, weight was the first thing that uh, I wanted to, to get out of the car. Admittedly, it's not too heavy to start with. 2,900 pounds isn't that bad. I mean, the Tesla, when I was finished building that, was still a lot heavier than this. But um, seeing as it was going to be... We were not going to have the, uh, a huge amount of power in this car. Uh, as you can see, we've only got 424 horsepower. It's not the greatest power-to-weight ratio that we've seen. And the reason why we're not going to get a huge amount of horsepower is that the car's sort of PI starts off a little bit higher, and it certainly it, it picks up PI points with handling parts very easily. So uh, we're not going to get the power of the torque. So, yeah, you have to keep the weight down as, uh, as little as possible, which is why I haven't gone for a roll cage, uh, which is also why we have still got the standard engine. Of course, I've got upgraded brakes and everything uh, on there as far as the yeah engines go i kept the standard engine because it's just the lightest of the lot it's lighter than the turbo rally engine and the uh, i6 twin turbo i just want yeah i was wanting to keep the weight down i couldn't get the the v8 in and still keep it in uh, in s1 class either so standard engine it is for the uh, for the brz as far as tires go well it fills me with a little bit more confidence than the other vehicles 295s on the rear not too shabby. I mean, okay, they're not the same as the Vipers and the Kuntashes that uh, that have gone around here, but that's still a decent sized tyre. And you know, we've we've only got 400 horsepower, and we're dealing we are dealing with off-road and so on. And of course, the bigger the tyre, the better. But this isn't too bad a too bad a size of tyre for a car to be uh, to be racing around uh, on here. And again, decent front. I mean, the front tyres are bigger than the, the tyres we saw on the Fair Lady Z and on the <laughs> the Renault Alpine. So we got some decent tyres on the uh, on the Subaru as far as uh, engine parts go it was basically a combination of, uh, and me trying to get as little uh, as little weight uh, as I could exhaust being the, the the first thing that I stuck on the vehicle and then there's a combination of other bits I think did I put a turbo on I didn't upgrade the turbo it might have been camshafts I did um yeah just trying to uh, trying to get the PI into S1 and to, to keep the weight as, as low as possible and again we have I think it was to make up a couple of PI points we have the drive line on we have have a, a race differential and a racing clutch so the car is as light as possible and got okay power it's got you know 400 and 400 horsepower it isn't too bad it's not the most we've seen on this course but it's not the least either so yeah i was quite quite happy with the uh, the way the car turned out and i love the front bumper it's, it's still fantastic uh, anyway we're going to hopefully fingers crossed not have the xbox freeze on me when we go to uh, go to do our test we will head to the forest brawl circuit uh, somewhere over here there we go where i will have five laps to set as fast a lap time as possible now expectation wise well i don't think this is going to trouble the very top of the table i don't think it's going to trouble the kuntash the viper or the cobra all with the, all within sort of the 59s i think we could see this go sort of a bit mid table i'm looking at about a one minute point eight sort of lap time that's what i'm thinking we may get from the brz got a bit bigger tires not huge amounts of power We're kind of looking around bmw 8 series dodge charger kind of area as it's um yeah we've not got quite the ridiculous amounts of power we've not got the largest of tires 
but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful. Let's be hopeful with this car. Uh, turn one, actually pretty good. We're, that's that's not too shabby through uh, <laughs> through turn one at all. And the second turn, we have some grip. In fact, we have quite a lot of grip. The back end is stepping out ever so slightly. Oop, I tried to get, <laughs> got a little bit excited. Wee, that's, uh, there we go, that's super BRZ for you. Um, we got a little bit excited, but we do have some decent decent grip, actually. Again, that was about 100 miles an hour I turned in uh, to uh, to that corner, and it maintained the speed. It isn't quite the sliding, slidey car, certainly not like the other two that I've driven. It's pretty well behaved. At. That's... Hmm. I wasn't expecting that from the uh, from the Subaru. I wasn't expecting it to be quite as well behaved. Okay, now comes the straight line speed test and jump test. How are we going to fly through the air with the smiley aerodynamics? Uh, we're twisting ever so slightly. Not too bad, though. Uh, straight line speed. I don't expect it to trouble the fastest cars, but it's still pretty good. 138, 137. I just slightly braked a little too late. There is a small bump in the braking zone for turn one and if you leave it a little bit too late if you brake after the bump it doesn't work. You have to have to make sure you brake before the bump and I missed, uh, missed the braking point on there ever so slightly so I ran wide through uh, through turn one but still 138 miles an hour is not, not that bad. It's not far off the Kuntash. That was actually very quick through that corner down there as well. Um, I'm looking at the, the, the mini map and how we're doing with the, the ghost car or the target car on on the uh, on the times there is a 592 that would be the fastest time ever for a vehicle around here and we are not that far off okay this may be quite a quick car that i have inadvertently i wasn't expecting it to be lapping quite this quickly yeah we've got to make sure we get up the middle of the jump there uh, otherwise it, it'll twist slightly it wasn't a perfect first lap one minute six is gone is gone sort of already at where I was expecting it to uh, <laughs> to be going lap time wise or going quicker than I was expecting it lap time wise and that was with a slightly dodgy first first couple of corners okay can we be flat through uh, yeah we probably could be flat up there I had a tiny momentary lift uh, it's here that we've really got to get the car sorted we definitely want to be to the uh, the right hand side so we can carry all of the speed down there. That was much better from the Sobra. Oh, we cracked the windscreen. That's not good. We slightly bumped the uh, the rear of the car off the wall there. I don't think this car really likes the bumps that much. It's not a huge fan of uh, some of these bumps. Oh, we're out very wide on the braking into that corner. Yeah, I, that wasn't quite where I wanted to be. But uh, the Subaru is is okay. It's alive. Uh, the windscreen is slightly irritating, but it's not the worst sort of cracked windscreen that uh, that I have seen. Come on, car, use the speed. One minute point four. Let's see if we can get it a little bit better. Right, I was on the brakes before the bump that time. That was better into turn one. I could have perhaps carried a little bit more, uh, a little bit more speed. Brakes are good on this car. Brakes are good. The, the straight line speed acceleration is good. Grip is good. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that from the uh, from the BRZ. I will be honest here. Uh, can we get it to be the, the only the fourth car to go under the one minute? I don't know. I think we probably could. We're on, again, it would, we're okay. We just start losing a little bit of time down here, I think, which is not quite as quick. All right, make sure we get it stopped and turned here. There you go. Wanting to slide a little bit. Just fighting with it across the bump. So, oh, we're going to take out the bush. Uh, <laughs> I have cut that corner a little bit more than normal. We, <laughs> we are absolutely flying, though. Use all of that acceleration. Now we are very much flying. It flies lovely through the air. Well, the nicest flight pass we've seen from a car. What are we going to do lap time-wise? 59.7. <laughs> the Subaru is quick. The Subaru is very, very quick. I may have ever so slightly bodged up that first corner. It's just, just a little bit uh, messed up. I've, I've braked a bit. Uh, it's getting the braking right with the bump. Because I think this car... If there wasn't a bump there, you could brake quite a bit later into turn one, and you kind of want to brake after the bump, because it is a very good car at getting stopped. But uh, you can't quite get away with that. Again, carrying as much speed as I dare down there. We were out a little bit wide over the next jump, but it's still okay. Come on, Subaru. Could we really challenge the, uh, <laughs> the muscle cars and Italian supercars at the top of the table? Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, brakes are really very good on this. I'm really impressed with how well it stops. It's caught me out. I think I, ah, if we had a little bit more power, I think we could. Whoa, and we've done it again. We're very sideways over. 
over the jump. I don't think he's going to improve on the final lap. A 59.707 is a mighty impressive lap time, though, from the BRZ. Is it still smiling? Well, it's a slightly crooked smile, but uh, it should be a happy car. Yeah, that's a, uh, that's a really bloody impressive lap time from the Subaru. It puts it into fourth place. Only 0.1, less than 0.1 of a second behind the Shelby Cobra. Quicker than the TVR Sagaris, the MX-5, the GT40. I didn't expect this car to go as quickly as it did. Really very, very nice car to drive. Excellent brakes. Flies lovely over the jump most of the time. Uh, that final one, again, not the final run, getting the car sort of on its side across the jump. I don't, it wasn't going quicker anyway, that lap. I think I bodged up the second to last corner a little bit. But um, not what I expected at all from the BRZ, I have to say. I thought it was going to be sort of a, perhaps a slightly higher mid-table car considering the tyres it has on it. But um, that is certainly that is certainly impressive from the uh, Subaru. Yeah, not a bad choice of car. Very easy thing to, uh, to drive quickly. Anyway, that is it uh, for this uh, video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. And until next time, uh, goodbye.